I know you've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it, and here it is. Jerome Powell is going to cut those rates by up to one half of one percent. It seems that this whole inflation thing isn't what everybody's. They're saying, you know what? They're saying that inflation not that big of a deal. We don't have that much inflation. It lends credence. It makes me think that maybe this whole price gouging thing from corporations is the real problem, seeing as how the Federal Reserve is saying for the first time in four years, they're likely going to cut interest rates today. Today? Yes, today by one half percent or maybe one quarter of one percent. Not a lot. But they're saying it's going to be less of a deal. They want a soft landing. They want to get they want to get inflation down, but not have a recession. Bingo! I think they're going to do it. They're going to pull it off, man. It's going to be great. And you know what? Then more money will be available to borrowers. More cars will be sold because more people can get loans. More people will be able to get business loans. It's all going to work out for the best, everybody. What have you been worried about, America? Go back to sleep. Stop worrying about all this stuff. They're saying it's going to be great. The soft landing, it curbs inflation without causing a sharp recession. A half point rate cut would signal that the Fed is as determined to sustain healthy economic growth as it is to conquer high inflation. This week's move is expected to be only the first in a series of Fed cuts that will extend into 2025. The high interest rates and elevated prices for everything from groceries to gas to rent have fanned widespread public disillusionment with the economy and provided a line of attack for former President Donald Trump's campaign. Vice President Kamala Harris, in turn, has charged that Trump's promise to slap tariffs on all imports would raise prices for consumers much farther. Of course it would, because that's how that's how tariffs work. You charge them all this money, and then places like uh, like Kmart have to pay higher prices because they got to pay the tariffs. They're not going to just pay that. You're going to pay for it. So you're the consumer. You're going to end up having to pay that tariff. I don't know why people think – like if, if all of a sudden the price of beer went up, you think that you think that the restaurant's just going to swallow that? No. They pay more, you pay more. That's how that's how it works. They charge a percentage more in order to turn profit. They don't just they don't just lose profit. No, they charge it to you. So anyway, it should be really exciting, and I hope it's great. I think it's great. Um, it could change the way we feel about shit. But really, I think one of the things when I when I think about what they're doing, I really want to think about why. Why are they bothering right now? And also, if 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 inflation really isn't that big of a problem, why is everything so expensive? Maybe it isn't inflation at all. Chair Jerome Powell has made clear last month in a high-profile speech in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm going to Wyoming. Isn't that exciting? That Fed's officials, Fed's officials feel confident that inflation has largely been defeated. It has plummeted from a peak of 9.1 to 2.5 last month not far above the Fed's 2% target. Central bank officials fought against spiking prices by raising their key interest rates 11 times in a two to a two decade high of 5.3% to try to slow borrowing and spending, ultimately cooling the economy. So we cooled the economy. What a cool guy that Jerome Powell turned out to be, huh? Look at this. Look at you, cool guy. Cool, cool as a cucumber Jerome Powell over in Jackson Hole, Wyoming at the Fed that said, no more of this. We're going to cut interest rates, free money for everybody. So there you go. Um, maybe maybe they'll stop price gouging. Maybe that'll happen. Otherwise, it'll be Bartleby, you and me, Bartleby. We'll be trying to figure this shit out. You and me, Bartleby. Trying to figure out how to make ends meet in a world where everything's getting more expensive. I don't know how to do it. I'm broke as a joke. How about you? I'm not ah, shit. Try to do something creative. Start a side hustle, man. I wonder if Jerome. I think Jerome Powell probably has a side hustle. He probably he probably collects collects feathers illegally, but he's got a he's got a little he's got a side hustle that way. He's, he's got an in with the government, you know. So they don't they don't prosecute him because he's too important, and he makes dream catchers out of feathers because he doesn't care that animals aren't ours to commodify. He's a commodification guy. He commodifies everybody. He looks at people as ones and zeros. He doesn't look at them as, you know, 
humans with lives. He doesn't look like he look, doesn't look at animals like that either. Animals to him are just how he can use them, how he can turn them into a profit. That's Jerome Powell for you. Oh, Bartleby. Oh, humanity.